Hi, Tiffany. Hi, how are you doing, Mr. Co <laughs> Mr. Anderson? I, I, I'm very well, indeed. How are you? Good. So why don't we talk a little bit about Lincoln? What can you describe about him? What do you enjoy about portraying him? Uh, Lincoln is, uh, he, he's uh, a med student. He's a young guy who, who basically is trying to carve his own path in life until his father decides to go missing in the Amazon and, uh, and Lincoln's uh, services are called upon to, to go and rescue his, his father. Um, he, he, uh, basically, the, 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 the whole rescue mission is being filmed by the documentary crew that filmed my father's show, if that makes sense. And, uh, and Lincoln doesn't really like the idea that you know, they're making a documentary about, you know, possibly finding my dad dead in, in the jungle. He thinks that's a little voyeuristic and a, and a, little, a little too much. So he, he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder about that. But essentially, he, he, he wants to find his dad. Yeah. Well, what do you particularly love about playing Lincoln? Um, I, the one thing I do love about him is that he, he doesn't... Uh, he doesn't suffer fools gladly. He is a thinker. He's a doer. He's a he's a you know he, he doesn't panic too much. He's not a he doesn't flap around. He he he's he's direct. He's precise. He's intelligent, um, and, uh, and 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 he's brave. And also it, you know just on a on on a flip side, he doesn't have to be liked to to you know I. It's always interesting when you play characters that 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 have to have to be liked. And uh, and I think in this situation that Lincoln, uh, you know, he, he 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 doesn't have any respect for the documentary crew that is, you know, taking advantage of of his family situation. So it allows him to be able to put his hand in the camera and move the camera out the way and be a little bit uh, be a little bit, I don't know, uh, you know, anarchic with with the producers and what have you. So he he he's fun. He's he's got many layers to him, but but a good guy. Does he buy into this magic quest or the voodoo or the spirits that they kind of encounter, or does he just kind of remain a skeptic of it all? Well, this is something that, that you know, without giving too much away, that, that is, is going to be explored. Um, Lincoln, obviously, you know, coming, his dad is a, is, comes from a, a science background, zoology, marine biology, and, and Lincoln comes from a medical background. So, so to both these men, uh, science and logic is 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 a must. And when things are, are not logical and they can't be explained through science, um, that that starts uh, brains ticking. And 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 I think that will push people in this uh, story to to maybe go further down the river to see see what they might find. And there also seems to be um, a possible relationship growing between Lincoln and Lena. Is that something they're going to explore, or is that just something that we're kind of just picking up their vibe? No, I mean, Lincoln and Lena grew up together on the Magus, on the boat. Her father was uh, my father's cameraman, chief cameraman. Um, so they've grown up together as kids, and obviously when Lincoln went away to, to uh, school, to college, um, you know, they, they, they haven't seen each other. So... It's it's more uh, of a, a probably a childhood romance, but I'm sure, judging by the way Lena looks, I'm sure Lincoln might, uh, <laughs> you know, might give it a shot at some point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we talk a little bit about Lincoln and his parents, Tess and Emma? There seems to be a lot of friction between all of them. Where does that come from? Well, that basically comes from the fact that he was used as a prop. Uh, uh, Lincoln was was you know. Dr. Emmett Cole's uh, television show, uh, they used Lincoln and they used Lincoln's mom and they made it into a sort of a family show. And, and, uh, and I think Lincoln was never into, you know, swimming with crocodiles or, or having a snake put around his neck just for the cameras. And, and so I, th I think that, uh, you know, uh, enough is enough uh, at a certain point. And I'm, I'm not a puppet. He doesn't want to be a puppet. He doesn't want to be a prop. So I think he, he leaves, and, and, and that's where some of the animosity comes from. And I think as, as they spend more time together, there, there might be a little understanding there and maybe uh, some reconciliation, maybe. 
And what should the fans be looking for? What kind of clues do you think they should watch out for as they're watching this show and trying to get figure out what's going on in this <clears throat> world? Uh, I, I, I will I will say one thing or two things, uh, and both of them have to do with wings. Uh, you, you must watch the dragonflies, and you must look out for wings. Okay. Well, thank you, Marty Rouch, for your time today. We're looking forward to the to our premiere tonight. Thank you very much. Good talking to you, Tiffany. Take care. Thank you.